Hi everybody! Today we're gonna talk about coordinate systems in Revit. And specifically, I wanna show you how to take any of your coordinates and convert it from internal project or survey to any other coordinate system. And this is important because whenever we work with Revit API and we start looking at the coordinates, we're gonna get them in internal, but oftentimes we wanna either export the values as project or survey data, or maybe to bring it into Revit. And for that, we need to convert it to internal. And I'm gonna make it fairly simple for you because I prepared a Python script, which I'm gonna share with all of you. And in there, you'll just have to fill a few arguments and it's gonna give you results. So let's go to Revit, have a little overview of the coordinate systems, and then I'm gonna show you how to convert it using Revit API and Python. All right, here in Revit, you can see very simple infographic about coordinate systems. We have our internal project and survey coordinate systems and you can see their respective icons on the top. You already know that internal is based on the internal point, project based on the project base point, and survey based on the survey point. So far, very simple. It's good to keep in mind that when you're gonna apply true north rotation in your projects, it's not gonna affect coordinates in your internal or project systems. However, it's gonna affect your coordinates in the survey system. And lastly, let's think about why do we need to use different systems. Internal is a base coordinate system used internally by Revit. It's primarily used by developers who need absolute coordinates before any transformation. This is what we get from the elements by default, and this is what we need to provide when we use Revit API. The project coordinate systems, it's pretty much used for creating shared coordinates, and it can be a crucial step for exporting your 3D models in other softwares or other formats like DVG, or even importing it into Revit. And lastly, the survey coordinate system, it's gonna align Revit models with real world survey coordinates representing land survey data. This is important to communicate with your construction site so you can actually relate to the real world coordinates. And lastly, there are a few points that valid for all coordinates. First of all, keep in mind that Revit API uses coordinates in feed. And this is important for those who use metric system because oftentimes you're gonna get your coordinates, you're gonna try to convert them. And when you display it, you might forget to convert it into metric system. And therefore it's gonna look like you did something wrong because you're just comparing two different unit systems. You also know that coordinates often represented with the north-south, east-west, and elevation instead of our beloved XYZ coordinates. And now, let's go and have a look at the coordinates examples I prepared. And don't worry, it's not that complicated. Let me hide this text for now, and you will see that I have my three points. I have my internal point right here, our project base point, and the survey point right here. In the middle, I draw this triangle with the thick lines, so it can take its edges and check its coordinates. Also have a few dimensions, so it's gonna be easier to calculate. And lastly, I added all these coordinate tags. You can see that each point has three tags. It has a red one for the internal, green one for the project, and blue one for the survey. And this will help us understand the difference between the coordinate systems. Now, you will also notice that I have my true north rotation set to 15 degrees. And this is to show you the difference between project, internal, and survey when you have the rotation applied. We could go to manage tab and grab this project location tools. And in the position, there's gonna be this rotate through north. I'm gonna click on that one. Now let's rotate it five degrees. And when I'm gonna do this, pay attention to one of the points for the coordinates. When I'm gonna flip back and forth, you'll notice that internal and project, they stay the same. However, the survey coordinates, this is gonna change. You'll see the coordinates start changing. I can also select it and unpin. And when I'm gonna rotate it, it's still gonna keep these coordinates the same, but the survey coordinate is gonna change, no matter if it's pinned or not. Because you see, this time it's not moving with our line that we prepared. And now let's look at one of the points. For example, we can have a look at the top of the triangle. And here you can see all the coordinates. We have our internal project and survey coordinate, which is four, two, four minus three. And in here it's broken coordinate. Let me bring one more family so it's a little bit easier to explain. Right now, right here, we have our internal point. And let's take this and actually align it here. So this is how our coordinate system is located here after true north rotation. To get to this point, we have to move two meters along the X axis and we have to move four meters along the Y axis. And this is how we get to this point for internal coordinates. The project coordinates right here is moved five meters from the internal points. Therefore, project coordinates are gonna be calculated from this point and it has the same rotation. So it means that if I'm gonna place it right here, to calculate this point, it goes three meters to the left along X axis, therefore it's negative, and it goes four meters up along Y axis, so it's positive. 
And lastly, you can see that server coordinate points, they already kind of broken down. This is because we calculate from this point, but most importantly, it has this kind of rotation. Therefore, if I'm gonna calculate from here, you'll notice that from this point, we need to move 1.67 meters along X axis, and we also need to move in negative 1.48 meters along Y axis. And this is why we have different coordinate systems when we deal with Revit. Now, I hope we are on the same page when it comes to coordinates and why we have different coordinate systems and why they have different values. I already prepared a button right here, and we're just gonna go and have a look at the code. And also to make it a little bit simpler, I already pre-written all the code, and I'm gonna explain how it works and add the code so you can use it in your own scripts. Look, in the beginning, we have our base. In here, I have my title, my imports, and doc UI doc. Same as usual. Then I have one helper function to convert my internal units. Made it very simple, we need to provide a value that we want to convert, and then we need to specify. If we set the true, we're gonna convert to internal, and if we're gonna set to false, we're gonna convert from internal. And it's gonna return you just the value in converted units. If get internal, then use unit utils convert to internal units, take your value, and provide unit in meters. And opposite to that, it's gonna just take your unit utils class and convert from internal. And here we have our point converter class, which I prepared for you, and you'll be able to take this code and use in your own scripts without changing anything. But I still wanna explain you so you understand what's happening here. First of all, I define here that we're gonna have point internal, survey, and project, so it's easier for us to keep in mind what's inside this class. Then we need to provide a bunch of arguments. We obviously need to provide our x, y, and z coordinates separately. Then we need to specify what is the coordinate system we provide it in, and what's the input units system you use. And you'll notice that our coordinate system, it can be internal, project or survey, and input units can be either in meters or in feet. Then inside of it, we have a few steps. We get our system transform, then we convert our units only if necessary, and then we convert our points depending what is the initial system you selected. If you provided your point as an internal point, it's gonna be set as internal point, and then it's gonna calculate survey and project conversions. If you set as project, it's gonna set the point as project and calculate the other two. Or if you set a survey, it's gonna set it as survey and calculate the other two. Now we're gonna go in details, but there are also four methods. I have my get survey point, get project transform, apply inverse transformation and apply transformation. Let's start from the top. In here, we're getting our system transform because we need to get our transform so we know where is the location where our system is located and what's its rotation. To do this, to get our survey and project transform, right here you can see getting survey is very simple. We take our document, active project location, get total transform. To get the project transformation is a bit tricky. There are a bunch of different syntaxes to get, but most common one is you get all elements of class project location, you iterate for them, and you check if the name of this element is equal to project. Also, if you use Revit in different languages, you have to modify it here. Because in English version, it's gonna be project, but in German, for example, it's gonna be project. And therefore, you need to change here how you do this. If you use multiple Revit languages in your office, you can check if project location name in list, and then provide here all the possible values. It's gonna be project, it's gonna be project, and so on. We just wanna compare and get the right project location. Once you have this point, from this point, we can also get total transform. Now, these two helping methods are gonna give us this transformation, have our survey transformation and project transformation. And they're necessary to convert your units between coordinate systems. Because when your point is gonna be in internal coordinate system, you need to take this kind of relation between them and apply to this point to convert to one or another. And this is what we do right here. We can either apply inverse transformation or direct transformation. And this will depend on from which system to which system you're trying to convert. Again, you don't have to go in all these details, I just wanna make sure you understand if you want to. You just take my code, and I will show you in a moment how to use it, and it's gonna work great. But to apply your transformation, it's very simple. All we have to do, we take our transform, and we take our point. And to do the regular transformation, we take our transform of point, and we provide this point. This is how you convert between these systems. And if you wanna apply inverse transformation, you need to take your transform, you need to inverse it, then you take off point and do the same. This is how simple it is. 
but to actually make it work first time, it might be a bit complicated. This is why I want to give this code to you so you can start using it and don't have these issues. And it's definitely going to save you a lot of time. All right, so we have this code, but how do we use it, right? This is the most important question right now. We're going to scroll down and already prepare there. I also have one helper function here so I can print my coordinates correctly. Because remember, right here in Revit, I can see all these coordinates in metric system. These are all meters, right? It's one meter in the north axis and four meters in east-west axis. But in Revit API, when we're going to get the coordinates and print their XYZ values, they're going to be displayed in the feed. Therefore, you might get confused that you're converting it incorrectly. So I created this function because I provide my XYZ class point and prefix which I want. For example, it's going to be internal system, survey or project. So it's easier to understand what's going on. And we're going to use this to print all the coordinates from this class. Now, first of all, we need to define our point. We're going to go through two examples. We're gonna pick point in the space and we also define it manually. You're probably gonna start by defining it manually. Then we're gonna use the class that I created. Here you can see we use point converter. We provide X, Y, Z values. We specify what's the coordinate system of these values and what are the input units. And then to get converted point, we just take this kind of object that we created and we look at the property point internal, point project or point survey. And lastly, we're going to display results by using this function. I just want to provide all these points which are converted, write what are the systems, this is internal point, project point and survey point, and then it's going to print it in meters so we can compare the results. Now let's make it side by side with Revit and we're going to look at this point right here. And we're going to come and write here some coordinates. Well, let's start with the internal, you can see the x is equal to 2 and the y is equals to 4. Now we take this coordinate then we put it here we create point converter put this kind of our x y and z values then this is internal coordinate system which is correct and in here i need to write that i provide my inputs in meters now it's going to create it convert it and display results in meters here is the button let's click on it and now i can compare results now you can see internal point two four zero here you can see the two and four which is correct then the project is minus three and four, that's also correct. And the survey is 1.673, which is also correct. Now, let's say we wanna take another coordinates. Let's grab this project coordinates one and minus one. So X is gonna be minus one, Y is gonna be one. Now, we have to say in here that we provide coordinates in, as a project. It's also in meters. Now, when we click on it, you'll see. Internal is four and one, which is correct. Project is minus one and one which is correct, and survey is 2.8284, which is also correct values. Now, lastly, let's have a look here. We're gonna provide our survey as 00, zero points. We're gonna specify here that this is a survey point and click on coordinate systems. Right here, it brings me results. Obviously, survey is gonna be 00, zero. project is gonna be minus five and five, and internal is gonna be zero and five, which is again, correct. So this is the method you're gonna use when you have externally a set of data that you need to convert to Revit coordinates. But now let's comment it out. And we're gonna use this one. In here, I use UI doc selection pick point so we can get some Revit points. You can also grab your elements and look at their location point property, doesn't matter. The point is we're getting Revit API XYZ class. I'm gonna click on it, it asks me to select a point. I'm gonna come here and I will select this point right here. I click on it and at first you will see that the results are completely incorrect. This is because, remember, you need to configure your coordinate system and input units. In this case, coordinate system is gonna be internal and input units is gonna be in fit. This is important because if you're gonna specify differently, you're gonna get an error. Now let's try it again. I'm gonna click on it, select this point right here and see what I get. Internal is two and four, which is correct. Project is minus three and four. Survey is these weird numbers, which are also correct. If I click and try this one, it's also gonna be correct. It's one, four, minus one, one, and these weird values in the survey. All right, guys, and hopefully this is gonna tremendously help you convert your coordinates from internal project and survey coordinate systems in Revit API. If you're fairly new to Revit API, be sure to grab my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Revit API. 
There are 50 pages which are gonna explain you a lot of basics about Reddit API and help you get started and continue. And also, I wanna say a huge thanks to my supporters. And as always guys, happy coding. Goodbye.